good morning everyone so today we shall see this experiment called measurement of iron losses of a given specimen okay so here the apparatus required for this experiment is the specimen which is in the form of epsilon square and an auto transformer ranging from 0 to 230 volts watt meter which is of lpf 2.5 amperes 150 volts rms voltmeter and uh, average voltmeter and an ammeter and uh, here you require the you need to determine the iron loss so iron loss consists of hysteresis and eddy current loss okay here you can see the formula for it and uh, let us see for the circuit diagram what is there in the circuit diagram here you can see the circuit diagram we have a supply single phase supply coming from here the phase is given to ammeter the other terminal of ammeter is given to primary here okay and uh, the from primary it is coming to l of watt meter and m is given to neutral okay c and v are connected to b coil from the other coil of b that is metering coil is connected to voltage of average and voltage of rms that can we have we can have a range of 75 and 150 let us look at the experimental setup here you can see the experimental uh, where you can have an auto transformer an lpf watt meter this is an lpf watt meter and uh, here you can see rms voltmeter here you can uh, read it rms voltmeter and you can see the range here 75 volts and 150 volts now it is connected for 150 volts and uh, an ammeter which is ranging from 0 to 15 amperes and if it is connected for 15 amperes if the switch is connected for 0.6 amperes it will be from 0 to 0.6 amperes and here you have average voltmeter also okay and uh, you can see the range this this is from 0 to 150 volts okay and uh, here is your device that is epsilon square you can see the epsilon square it is in the square shape okay and uh, here is the specimen where onto which we need to conduct the we need to find out the iron loss of this specimen okay let us start the experiment so here you can see you can start by switching on the experiment okay yes i will start varying this okay the variation you can see here on the ammeter okay in the ammeter so first it is connected for 0.6 okay so 0 0.6 range so we'll make it for 0 0.5 0 0.5 so i'll be varying it see as i as i am varying this uh, auto transformer as i keep on varying this you can see the voltmeter varying okay the voltmeters keep on varying so as the current the current reaches to 0 0.5 i'll stop and note down the readings of voltmeter here see you can see here okay now at this you can see at 0.5 range the voltage which is connected for above 80 it is okay 82 something like that and uh, here it is exactly 80 now this voltage is rms voltmeter and this is average voltmeter okay so this is how you need to do the experiment okay this is one of the sample calculation okay in the similar format you can do the other calculations also okay later later what you can do is you need to turn on the switch here okay which is connected I'll, I'll reduce the auto transformer okay i'll switch over the switch to 3 amperes okay so at 3 amperes you can see you can vary it up to 1.5 okay as i am varying the auto transformer you can see the variation in the voltmeter that is rms voltmeters and average voltmeters there you can see the current the current is still at 0 0.5 position okay now it is varying along with the variation you can listen the vibration in the epsilon square okay you can listen to the vibration of epsilon square so the current measurement is now i'll be taking for 1.5 amperes okay so at this you can see the voltmeter ranging is 140 volts that is rms voltage okay and uh, average voltage is of 130 volts okay so this is what the experimental setup and uh, the experimental running of epsilon square and this is how you can find out the iron loss of a given specimen okay here you can see in the tabular column you can note down the current 
which is present over here and a watt meter reading which you, you can take from LPF watt meter and voltages VRMS you can take from here RMS voltmeter and uh, average V average you can take here okay and uh, here you have iron loss and uh, maximum flux density and specimen iron loss that you can find by using this given formulas okay thank you